Hey guys, wanted to let you know some other earnings reports that dropped this morning that I've gotten comments on. So Estee Lauder was one that dropped pretty big because they cut their profit forecast or guidance because of China being weak still. So I would stay away, let the dust settle with this. But if you're looking to enter this, if you like this company and wanna buy it for the long haul on the dip, I would personally wait until China issues more stimulus because then you can know that the consumer you know, and the economy can get better. So that's what I would personally do. That's when I would jump in Estee Lauder, whether it be a long-term holding or short-term, okay? And then with uh, next one on the list, Peloton, we'll talk about that one. So this company actually raised their full year guidance and that's why the stock went up big, even though they did miss on a lot of other metrics. And they said that, you know, it's going to be softer demand over uh, Christmas. The stock still went up big and I would be trimming and raising my stop limit because there's still issues. Obviously, they're cutting costs dramatically and they're, uh, annou they announced that the CEO stepping down and a new CEO is going to come. So that's going to create some uncertainty as well. So if you did play that one and took a shot before earnings, you're up big. I would definitely be selling a chunk and raising my stop limit at market open. And then also Lemonade had earnings. They did beat. They had a narrower loss than expected and their revenue was better than expected and the stock's being rewarded. The loss, like I said, it's going to take a while before they get to profitability and have free cash flow, but they're on the right path and I do like AI and insurance are changing the game there. So I think it's worth having some in your long-term account. But in the short-term account, same thing. If you want to trim, raise your stop limit at market open, then you make sure you get a win no matter what. That's how I do it, especially with the election, guys. Remember, there's nothing wrong with just locking in wins right now because anything can happen you know, on election day. So just remember that. You can wait till after if you want, all right? So those three, and then we talked about Uber as well. You know I like Uber because they, you know, for example, work with Waymo, which is in San Francisco. I expect Waymo to expand you know, across the nation eventually. And remember, people have to book through the Uber app to get a Waymo. And so they're gonna get more and more business. And remember, they have 161 million riders. All these self-driving vehicles that will eventually be on the road are going to need riders. And that's why I think a lot of companies like Tesla, Waymo, others will partner with Uber. And like I said, yeah, Uber Eats, their mobility division, they're growing nicely, even though they missed on their guidance with gross bookings. That's why the stock took a hit. But if you're looking long and you see the big picture, I think you want a dollar cost average on the big dips. And this would be one of those opportunities to do so. Again, if you want to wait till after the election, nothing wrong with that, guys. That's where we're really going to take advantage of what opportunities come our way. So make sure to become a subscriber. More importantly, become a member because we're going to have some we're going to make some good money after this election clears through and who's president. I'm going to dial it in of what stocks are gonna perform well. So make sure to follow guys, okay? But if you have any other earnings reports that you want me to investigate, I'll give you my opinion on it. I'm more than happy to do that for you guys. You know I got your back. Have a great day, guys.